All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is your boy, the Glacier. And recently, I've been, I've made a couple of how to win videos, one with Garen and one with Darius. And it seems like you guys are really enjoying that series that I'm doing right now. So I figured we bust out Heimerdinger in the top lane. Personally, in my opinion, this is one of the easier champions to to hard carry games with, just because you have so much control in the lane. It's very difficult for you to lose lane unless you really fuck up. So uh, let's get right into the rune page here. So the first thing you're gonna do is go summon Airy. Manifold Band, or Manifold Band, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Into Ravenous Hunter, and Taste of Blood. Uh, you can swap out Taste of Blood if you think you're going to snowball. Um, I like Taste of Blood personally against like melee matchups just because you can keep spamming it and keep healing. Uh, the Ravenous Hunter, your turrets are constantly proccing it, so it's just going to do a really, really good job at um, keeping you really healthy. Now, the thing you guys got to understand about Heimer is it's all about not getting ganked. It's all about not feeding, not getting ganked, and farming perfectly. So we have to take teleport every time we t every time in the top lane. You have to go teleport, okay? Because as soon as you fall behind on Heimer, I'm telling you right now, climbing back is going to be real, real difficult. All right, so all we're going to do is just continue to just proc airy, run into the brush. Just brutalize with autos, brutalize with autos. And make sure that you're not missing any any creeps. Or at least try not to. And if he overextends like that, like punish the hell out of him. Okay. Now the thing we do have to be insanely careful about. Very, very careful about is um, the Evelyn. Okay. And again, just keep focusing on those last hits. After she dashes, that's the time to go for your thing. Against Fiora, the, um, all you gotta do really is just outplay her repost, and it's it's pretty simple. Oh, that was a mistake. Force that one. Alright, so it's about 225. We're just gonna keep auto attacking the shit out of her right now. We don't want her to get any of this farm if we can afford it. Alright, right here. So as soon as she goes up for a creep, like, you gotta just go for, like, what clutch stun. Just like that. Just like that. We're gonna pop a health potion because I gotta stay healthy here. Now, the thing about this is you don't want her to let her go back. Ah, uh, she did. So I'm just gonna shove the wave. Probably gonna. I'm probably gonna um, be slightly careful here. I don't know. Warding this brush does nothing, but we just have to watch. That's good though. The fact that we already got her TP is is insane. Boom, boom, just like that. Look at that. Bait him out. As long as, here's the thing about top lane too, 1v2s are very, very easy to do if you can manage to keep your opponent very, very low HP, okay? So I'm actually gonna max Q in this situation. Uh, actually, maybe not. I want to because of the double melee, and I think it'd be a really, really good idea. She wants to slide and glide. All right. There we go. Boom. Take that trade all day. Okay, and I think we saw Evelyn bot lane. We're gonna pop the health potion here. Remember, we want to stay as healthy as possible. You don't want to be greedy with your health potions, but you definitely just want to make sure that you're you're healthy at all times. Because if she ganks us, we are dead. All right. Just keep auto attacking. Keep rocking taste of blood. No TP opportunity. We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill. Maybe fake a recall here. This is all good. We're staying nice and healthy. Keep trying to land uh, as much poke as you can. Hopefully mana flow, man, procs. One thing I like to do too as well, is as you can see I just did right there, is uh, last hit. Oh shit. Last hit with your uh, with your W and try and like have the rest of the rockets hit her. Again, just keep procking airy. Oh, mine there. And there it is. Ooh. That was my bad for missing that stun. All right, let's go drop a ward. I still like to ward that brush. Even though it's, like, kind of useless, I still like to do it. All right. And we're just going to push, and we're going to recall. We're just going to recall right here. Now, I could I could be nasty. You know, I'm going to push another wave. Since we got nasty wave, wave clear and we're in no danger of dying, no TP, no nothing, we're going to push real, real hard here. Get these under the tower quick. Use every single ability. And then just go ahead and just recall on your wave while this asshole <laughs> stops my recall. And again, we're safe. If Evelyn shows up, um, I got three turrets. You know, we're good. All right, we're good. We're good. 
So now we know Evelyn's heading topside. Let's get some good poke in here. Okay, we gotta keep this. Oh, Evelyn's recalling. Okay, we can be really aggressive here. Whoa. Right there. Boom. Probably could have. I, I should have ult eat, I think. Ah, uh, fucking my mistake. Panicked. Big time panic there. Alright, so I'm probably gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, not gonna recall yet. Not yet. Evelyn, 100% is coming up. 100%. So we have to expect it. But I should, again, I should be safe. That's, that's not, you can't panic ult like that. Damn, that was so bad. There it is. Oof. Missed. But the good news here is, um, I should be able to easily 1v1 Evelyn. Very easily. She's going to TP back to lane. So we really... We, we have to back off right now. About to back off and we got to recall. We're not going to do any damage to her for a while, honestly. There it is. Nice. Now we take tower. My shit's in the wrong spot. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Still got ult. What is going on with my keybinds? Okay, so we're going to force tower, and we're going to take rift right after. Always put your turret like, yeah, see, look, check this out. Beautiful. We come back in. Just like that. Easy. Now, he's fucking up by not pushing, so that's really bad. But what we're going to do is we're going to shove this under tower. And we're going to look to take the, uh, the rift. You just got to remember, as long as the jungler's gone, you're safe to do this. Plus, I'm going to have turrets down. You know, we're safe. We're chilling, bros. Hopefully, he gives it to me. And we're going to head back. We're going to head back, actually, because she's not pushing. Woo! Not bad. Grab the Zork shoes for the M-Pen. And we're running right back to top lane. What? All right, so that's my bad. I didn't. I did not expect that. What the fuck? I did not expect that. I was holding my stun the whole time because I was waiting for Ward to ult him. Oh, that's that's kind of ridiculous. Fuck me. At least he got any splash though. That was a good rotation on my part. Okay. So the play that we really need to make is we need to look for like an opportunity to take a tower at this rift. Preferably the tier two. You don't really ever want to waste it on a uh, tier one tower. That's, that's just a huge waste. Oh shit, I'm gonna miss a lot of these. It's JK. All right, I need a recall. Mm. Let's save our mana. Oh, we got mana flow, man. Okay. Now, because I have no vision, we gotta be very, 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 very careful right now. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. You know what? Uh, let's not let's not waste it. We're not gonna waste it. I could be ganked right now, but there's a lot of things going on bot lane. It looks like. Yeah, Warwick's trying to set up some kind of gank. Oh baby, that didn't hurt at all. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna set up our our ish. Boom! Good damage. We're just gonna force the tower just like this. Don't be afraid to do this ever. Stand against the wall. Drop the stun. Just like that, boys. Now you die. Boom. Just like that. Easy. So what I ended up doing there, I don't know if you guys paid attention to that. I ran right towards the wall so she couldn't uh, proc all of her shit. And then I immediately, uh, you know, you have to save. You have to save your E. Just wait for her to waste it. And then as soon as it's gone, boom. Over. All right. We're going to proc the, the Rift Herald. And then, see, look. Look how much we're taking now. This is how you carry. It's all about patience, timing. That's all it's about with Heimer. And then, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. Hopefully. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Risking it for the biscuit. Now, as soon as we take this, we got to get the hell out of here. All right. Just run back to the farthest turret. He has to take that. If he tries to stop my recall, he's, he's greedy. Cool. 
I can defend this by myself. And say they're they're very greedy if they decide to stay and and siege. Oh my god, I would miss that. Disgusting. Okay. Okay. I'm more so the recast. The reason I'm not clearing these wards is because I'm I'm paying attention to what's happening on the map. And as you can see, Karma rotated mid, which means Varus did recall. And if he didn't, I would just solo kill him. So we're not worried in the first place. Fucking missing creeps. Right now they are coming down here. I feel like I can one v two. If Vayne's here, yeah, we're good. We're good. Someone's got to rotate top. Oh, I just realized we got ulted. All right, we're going to turn on him. Easy. Just like that. Just like that, boys. She's got stun. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Right to mid lane. Right to mid lane. Let our team take dragon. Dragon is not... Remember, towers win games, okay? This is where you guys fuck up a lot. You guys take the dragon. No, 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 no. Mid, 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 mid. Trust. Right here. This is how you guys are going to win. Every game. Prioritize the tower always over a dragon. Always. See, we could have already been on this. We could have already been on this. We might not be able to take it now because of that dragon. And they're, they're still not coming. So, again, you guys see why it's so important. Prioritize correctly. Just don't have... Don't have as much stuff as I would like yet. I think we can force this safely. Yeah, we can force it safely. Holy fucking damage. Alright. Yeah, two ham. Don't follow up with these things. Just take the tower. Just let your team die. Nice, dude. Nice. We're gonna go to bot lane now, okay? Instead of recalling, I know we have a lot of gold, but remember, you gotta you gotta pay attention to what's going on on the map. Look, two, their bot lane is dead. Top lane is shoving. No, no, no. Fuck you, fuck you. My farm, baby. My farm. We're just getting a quick little shove. I don't know why Vayne's coming down here. But I'm going to recall now. Alright, so now what we can do... We're pretty fed. We can finish the Ludens, honestly. But, uh... Hmm. So just shove out this wave, and we're going to go take blue. Oh, what the... F oh, my God. Alright. That happens. That happens from time to time. Clear out this control ward. We're going to shove one more wave and we're going to look to group here. Yeah, so we're going to grab a Banshee's Belt. Uh, reason being is I, I can get initiated on by Evelyn or Annie at any time. That's where positioning is going to come into a real play here. All right, now, the okay, so the reason why... One of the many reasons why Heimer is so easy to climb with is you can take Baron at 20 minutes no matter what. You can duo Baron at 20 minutes with anyone. You just need a control ward. So we're going to go back. Please, just come. Just trust. Just trust me on this one. All right. Now you want someone else to tank it. All right. Tank it for a second. And we're going to drop our ult immediately. Now, if anyone comes, it's your job to stun them. You have to try and stun the jungler. Burst it down. Okay, we got it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wait. Wait for the, wait for the parry. Yep. Yep. Prediction. Beautiful. And we're going to go top lane and shove. We're going to go top lane and shove. Okay. We want pressure. I mean, do you see how it's so easy to, to take Baron? It's so easy. You just need to have one... Per Literally, if I, all I needed there was Warwick. That's all I needed. Warwick and, and Heimer can take it. 20 minutes every single game. You can, you can take Baron. As long as you're not like 0-10, easy. 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 Could potentially TP here, but I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, I'm going to TP. Okay. Put one turret down. Why not? All right. That was a really good TP on my part. Hopefully, we, we might be able to, man to get this tower here. Put one backup turret. Poke him down a little bit. Maybe go for a Kobe. 
Always go for Kobe's when you can. Oh, seriously. Okay, we need to get this creep wave going. And I'm going to pop my uh, my ult Q under the tower. We're just going to go for it. Actually, I might, I might go for a Kobe. Hold up. Maybe. We're getting good damage on the tower. Yeah, we're good. Seriously? <laughs> when he just, like, randomly aggro's you, it's so random. All right. Push the wave always. Get the creep wave on your side. Only go for a Kobe if you have, like, two turrets. If you don't have two turrets next to you, it's going to be really difficult to make anything happen. Alright, now we have two turrets. We can go for a Kobe. Here it is. There it is. And there's the Kobe. 90 knights. That's game, boys. That's eh, alright. Push the wave. Everything is just purely calculated this game, boys. And there's no risk involved. This is how you play every single lane phase, every single game. This has to be like this. Okay. What? <laughs> Why did... Why didn't he run towards... He didn't run towards the base. <laughs> Alright. My bad. Alright, then obviously... Sand the game. Sand the game. Oh, what? Boys, hit the tower. Hit the tower. Alright. Yeah, just end the game now. Go for some style points, maybe. Oh, shit. End the game! Oh, my God! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright, boys. Right there, that is how you solo carry a game. Promise you right now, if we didn't play that game as perfect as we did, we probably would have ended up losing. So let's take a look at the stats real quick. All right, guys, here we have a number of total damage dealt to objectives. And obviously, I did so much, almost so much more than everyone. Obviously, you know, Warwick's doing dragons and helped me with Rift Herald and all that stuff. So he's going to be equivalent to me. And then Vayne was split pushing a ton that game. But as you can see, you know, it's, it's a real short game, 23 minutes. Um, and then I did about 7,000 damage to turrets. So, you know, the Rift Herald play, the Baron Call, the TP plays. I mean, all, all these play... Okay, well, besides the first TP play, everything was absolutely perfect. It was calculated. There was no, no chance of us ever getting ganked because we knew where Evelyn was on the map at all times. We kept the top laner low. We played nice and safe. And overall, everything, everything was just super calculated, and that is how you solo carry a game with Heimer. I promise you guys, you can do this in every single elo. This is how... This is 100% how I made it to Diamond 4. You know, I used a little bit of Garen, but this is pretty much what I would do. I would play like this top lane with Heimer, or I would play mid lane Heimer. Either one would work. And one thing I did forget to mention, you have to ban Scion. If you're playing um, Heimerdinger in the top, you have to ban Scion. There is no chance in hell you will ever beat him. Um, it's, it's slim to none. It's just not worth it, too, because he becomes so tanky. His first item, Spirit Visage, he just ults in your face, and then he can actually 1v1 you, no problem. So, um... Ban Scion if you're going to go top. I would prefer it if you guys would go mid lane. It's a lot easier done mid lane. But if you don't have to go against a tanky son of a bitch in the top lane, then it's it'll be pretty easy for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching the video, boys. Peace.